Uncle Larry here. Due to the recent escalation of violence against Jews in this country, a shooting of a Jewish school in Montreal the other day, a recent residential shooting here in Winnipeg, along with many hate crime reports in our city, you might be inclined to think we're witnessing a rise in anti-Semitism. Maybe. Maybe not. Perhaps people who were already anti-Semitic have given themselves permission to fully express their feelings in the aftermath of the October 7th horrific massacre of Israelis and Israel's subsequent declaration of war and its tragic consequences. Has the conflict given license to latent anti-Semites to openly display their Jew hatred while claiming a degree of enlightened moral superiority? Are we just pulling off the paneling to reveal the cracks in the foundation which were already there? Hmm. It's fair to ask where the outrage was when half a million people were killed in Syria, or when 230,000 people were killed in Yemen. And where's the concern for 1.7 million Afghan refugees currently being forced out of Pakistan? Or for the enslavement of multitudes of Uyghur Muslims in Chinese internment camps? I wonder... Why do we only get a conscience when Israel is involved? However you assess events in Gaza in general, it's also fair to note that this current conflict is the result of October 7th, the worst single day for Israelis since the Holocaust. For them, the equivalent of 15 9 11s that also took seven Canadian lives. Far too many people seem to be skipping over that part, the actual catalyst. According to the latest Pew Research, the partisan divide in Middle East sympathies is now wider than at any point in the last 40 years. You're likely to have friends and neighbors whose opinions differ in reaction to what is happening currently in the Middle East. And it's natural. Open societies are like that. Freedom of expression means we can disagree. And there are going to be protests and counter-protests. There are also going to be quacks armchair quarterbacks and keyboard commandos weighing in on a part of the world they really don't know much about. No matter what the quality of an argument is, though, the ability to disagree is central to a democracy. However, no matter what your sentiments are on the current situation, no matter what your position is, know this. Targeting Jewish Canadians or Jewish Winnipeggers with acts of hostility and violence just because they are Jews is inexcusable. It's an abomination. This is not protest. It's past time to call it what it is, pure hatred. No matter what your perspective is, it's up to everyone to call out Jew hatred wherever and whenever they see it. In the end, it's hard to know if there's been a rise in anti-Semitism or if it's always been there under the surface. It's just a guess, and it's a shame either way. One thing I do know the malevolent fervor of these unfolding vicious attacks against Jews here, across Canada, and beyond, is alarming. It's a symptom of a deeply sick culture. So much for never again.